Hello everyone, welcome to World Geography. The purpose of this video is to give you a quick synopsis of the material that will be covered in week one. First, I'm going to begin by going over our agenda. We're going to start off with a welcome and introduction in this course. Throughout this component, we're going to start off with icebreakers. During these icebreakers, you guys are going to get to know each other more and share special and unique things about yourself with your peers and with me. Then we're going to look over the course outline, make sure everybody understands the class expectations and discuss them through as a group discussion. And then we're going to look at the main page and make sure that we understand how to navigate certain components of our course on BC. On the main page, we'll find essential components such as the textbook in the form of a PDF, the course outline, um, a self-assessment portion, a, um, the grading system. So we'll be going over those and making sure that everybody has access to that. Then we're going to move on to an introduction to geography where we're going to be defining the discipline itself, understanding what it includes, and familiarizing ourselves with the five themes of geography. Now, this part is really important because it serves as the basis of what you will later have to reiterate or to kind of summarize at the end of the unit. And that those are the five themes of geography. You want to understand them very well and you want to make sure you know examples of each and being, and you should be able to apply them to different contexts in different areas of the world. Of course, it won't be in extreme detail because that's something that's recurrent in the course, but make sure that you understand it as much as you can and you address any questions you have. The next thing that we're going to move on to are the types of world and regional, and regional maps. So. These will definitely use the textbook for, we're going to look at different types of projections. And we're gonna really look at how geographers are able to use photographs or geographic information systems and digital maps to show the Earth's surface. We'll also be analyzing these images. And in turn, when we also take part in analysis of maps, we're going to be projecting the three types of map, the world, um, three map projections, and using the skills to understand the differences between each type of map. Perhaps you can bring in your own examples and share what areas you are familiar with on a regional or world level. Then we'll move on to the forces that shape the Earth's surface. So we're gonna be using our textbook for this, of course, and utilizing videos that are posted on BC for you to review and the activities that we'll be engaging in on an individual basis and a group will also be helpful for you to acquire this information. These are the two icebreakers that I mentioned before. So for the first day or two, we're going to be doing these. They are where in the world, and the second one is called For the Ones Changing the World. So both of these are activities to help you kind of practice your navigation skills and share things about your own cultural background or your identity. Perhaps you can also share, you know, where in the world or which city you um, grew up in and why that is meaningful to you. So there'll be some fun activities for us to take part in, to get to know each other better. Okay, so as mentioned, for this week, we're gonna be covering the following. Geography Basics is the title that we're looking for under. So here are some questions that we'll be addressing throughout our objectives. What is geography? What are the five themes of geography? How can we locate points on the Earth's surface? What are the types, what are the different types of maps? What forces shape the Earth's surface? And what is Earth's internal structure? So there'll be some labeling exercises as well that you might like, or you can use your artistic skills if you are interested in that too. 
The last thing that I would like to go over is the resources. So of course we have the unit page that has all the resources that you will need for this unit. On a daily level, you'll find the BC page um, that has the videos, and any attachments or PowerPoint presentations that I'll be using throughout each session that we'll be carrying on. Um, but I also wanted to bring your attention to these three sources, which are on the main page resources page and on the unit page. Lizard Point, World Atlas, and the Earth Structure. So for the first two, they are interactive maps that you can use where you can explore the five themes in geography. And they also contain very nice, simple notes for you to review after reading the lesson in the book. And then the last one is an interactive game for the Earth Structure. I think you'll like it, especially if you want to review it before any future quizzes, or if you like you know, labeling and having more of the visual aspect to understand these crucial topics. And that's basically it. I look forward to spending this week with you. Please reach out um, to me if you have any questions and have a great rest of your week.